everyone, Bahala Voom here. Thank you so much for joining episode two of Voom on Sex and food. This episode, we're gonna be making ladyfinger sandwiches stuffed with lemon curd. And we're also going to be reviewing the magic of the penis. Are you ready? Are you sure? This is happening. Mm. So here we are in the kitchen to make lady fingers with lemon curd filling. Ooh, they're gonna be so good. Here are the ingredients that we have for the lady fingers. The lemon curd, we're gonna use a store-bought kind, but you can also make lemon curd quite easily, which will be included in the recipe. So what we have here is three eggs that we've brought to room temperature, lemon zest, about a half a teaspoon, two and a half teaspoons of lemon juice, a half a cup of sugar, a half a cup of powdered sugar, some vanilla, because I don't measure vanilla, two pinches of salt, two thirds cup of flour. Take a cookie sheet that has been covered in foil and then buttered and floured with the excess flour shaken off. You're also going to make sure that your oven rack is in the center rack. <laughs> and you're gonna turn your oven on to 325. 325. A ritual that I always do before baking anything or making anything, especially for loved ones, is I light a candle. That's the secret that makes everything really delicious. First thing we're gonna do is divide the egg yolks from the egg whites. You're gonna put the egg whites in a separate bowl that's going to be mixed and whipped, brought up to stiff peaks. Always love stiff peaks. And the yolk is gonna be a different mixture that we're gonna blend into that egg white mixture. We're going to create our egg yolk mixture, which is the blend of the three egg yolks, our lemon zest, and vanilla. Whisk it together, get it nicely blended. Now we're gonna make our egg white mixture. So three egg whites. We're going to um, add two pinches of salt. And two. We're gonna whisk these until stiff peaks form. Now we're getting some soft peaks forming. You're gonna add sugar a little bit at a time while you have the mixer on high. We're going for firmer and glossier stiff peaks. I love making things stiff. <laughs> what, it's a cooking show. Ooh, this is very close to the process of making divinity. Wait till you see how stiff and glossy these peaks are. <laughs> stiff and glossy, stiff and glossy. Mm -hmm. What do you say, Magnus? Looks good. Can it take your peaked, your peaked mixture <laughs> and fold in the egg yolk mixture. So you're gonna gently fold this in. Once you've gently folded the yolk mixture with the egg white mixture, you're going to sift in this, the flour a little bit at a time and then fold the flour in gradually. So what I have here is our completed mixture inside of a pastry bag, looking all delicious and thick. The recipe calls for a six star tip, size six. Um, I don't have one, so this is what we're doing today. Dick shaped things, they're super fun. Whoops, 
That one came out funny. Walking around with my jizz hanging out. Kind of like the penis. My lady fingers come in all shapes and sizes. So now we've piped out our little lady finger penises. They're ready to go in the oven. Oven again, 325, preheated. Get those in there. Oh, get them in there good. Hmm. We're gonna let those bake until they're nice and light golden, about 17 minutes. Now that our lady fingers are in the oven and baking, we have just a few moments to go over penis magic. Who do I have today but my trusted and one of my oldest and dear friends, Antonio Banderas. He is still, seriously, one of my favorites ever. Today we celebrate penis magic, and we have Peter the penis here to represent today. The top of the penis, this nice squishy head, is called the glands. The part underneath where it crowns, where we call this like the mushroom tip, it would be the under bottom, that would be this area here. This is the corona, or the crown. The opening of the urethra is also known as the metus, which I thought that was really funny. <laughs> the metus, hey, hey metus, yo. What you spitting out today? From the head to the shaft, down to the scrotum that contain the testes or testicles or balls. We have the vas deferens. They, they, they are the tunnels that carry the sperm into the urethra and out, what's that called again? The metus. How does erection physically occur for the penis? Arousal and excitement begins in the brain and causes a rapid heart rate. Blood starts rushing through your body and like magic, blood rushes down to the penis and engorges it, creating an erection. The penis consists of two main channel channels. What I have drawn here is the corpora cavernosa. In the internal part here, which I did not label, is the corpus spongiosum. The corpus spongiosum is connected to the urethra and is the, the rigid part of the penis deep inside that keeps the urethra from closing so that the urethra is open for ejaculation. So erection occurs between the corpus cavernosa filling up with blood and getting engorged. And really, it really is like magic. What I also have labeled here, just to kind of point out briefly, is the perineum is the line that goes from the scrotum, the dotted line, kind of a dotted line on some people, that goes from the scrotum down to the anus. And also not pictured here is this really neat, awesome part of a penis that's called the rafe line. There's a line that goes from the scrotum all the way up the edge of the penis. The rafe line is, represents how every human was born female. And then when certain hormones kick in to create male body parts, the penile parts, <laughs> that um, that's what the, when the rafe line occurs. So the last part that I wanna mention too is the frenulum. So that's the underside if you're looking at your your cock from up above and someone's looking down below. The frenulum is that nice sensitive part underneath the cock right there that is most sensitive, <laughs> along with the glands. Because really the, the glands and the tip of the penis is, is equative to the clitoris in the vagina. I think our lady fingers are calling us. I think it's time to pull them out of the oven and gooey them up with some good lemon curd. Ooh, they're ready. <laughs> Ooh, nice and golden. A lot of powdered sugar over these babies. <laughs> It's snowing! Um, it's like a lot of powdered sugar. Good. Good. So thank you so much for joining me on the journey of the penis and the magic of the penis. 
making our gorgeous lady fingers stuffed with lemon curd, and also meeting Antonio. Hi, Antonio. I know. It's good to see you too. I'm very happy to be here. In our next episode, where we're going to look at what does transgender mean and what does transsexual mean. Whatever body parts someone actually has or they're born with does not define who they are, just as their sexuality doesn't necessarily define who they are. Let's try our delicious lemon curd ladyfinger cookies. Are you ready, Antonio? I'm ready. Ooh, let's do this. Ooh. <laughs> I know Magnus is ready. They're really messy. There's a lot of sugar on them. Mmm, Magnus, you might even like these. They have lemon in them. Let me see if he'll like them this time. Ooh, maybe, like maybe. There's no bacon in this either. Are you kidding me? Fucking Vikings, seriously. <sighs> Till next time, no joint today, but you smoke one for me. Light up.